guys, it's Cece. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be looking at the top 5 star siege defenses. Before we get into the video, I do want to mention they do have the packs going on right now, and if you get all three, you do get that bonus re -app. but for even more value, you can use my link down in the description box below and use Amazon coins to save up to 20% on these in-game packs. I do want to mention that these are the defenses I am seeing around a G1 level, so obviously they may vary depending on kind of where you are in Siege, where you're landing. So let me know actually what defenses you're seeing and you think work really well. The first one I want to talk about is going to be a Sierra defense. and. Oftentimes when you see Sierra defenses, they do work pretty well because she has a good speed lead and she will be paired with somebody else who's also quick. In this case, we do have Vestet. So with this comp, because of the speed lead, uh, Vestet's going to go first, often apply the attack buff, and then in this case, Daphnis is going to go. And Daphnis can put a lot of damage output out of that skill 3. Typically get rid of a unit unless you have a very tanky team. Also has the cooldown on skill 2, which helps. And then of course we have Sierra's bombs or as we know her to be, she's a good daughter. The second one is another example of having that Sierra comp. And in this one, we have Sierra Orion Perna. So same idea, we have Sierra's speed lead, and then Orion's gonna go with his skill three, and then Perna's gonna go. And one of the reasons this one is good is of course Perna. Typically it's one of those violent proc units. So if Orion does get the defense break even better, you also have to focus on trying to kill Perna twice unless you have the Oblivion, but then you have Sierra to worry about with her bombs. And Orion is a unit who may vary in here instead of him you may see an iris you may see like i said the bestet so it's usually sierra somebody who can do some type of benefit to your team increasing their attack bar providing some debuffs and then some type of an attacker Number three is of course the classic Odin comp. This is one that we see often for good reason, it works. So this one has the Kmoon, Bastet, Odin. With this team, the way that it usually works is you have your speed lead with Kmoon, you have Bastet, they both go first, provide those stacks to Odin, and then he immediately gets rid of a unit. So when he has the five stacks, ignores as much defense as he can, and usually it immediately becomes a 3v2. So the team does work, you also have options for Odin, and I feel like it's one of those teams that we've definitely come up with some counters for as we could say for any team but when it's done really well it works like oftentimes I've been surprised by a violent Odin or ones that I'm not able to out sustain or if I can't out speed them or they just get very lucky and kill all my units so these three if you have an Odin I do feel like this is one of the best perfect comps that you can use them in Number four is going to be the Jean Chandra Perna comp. And the reason this one works well is you do have Jean as the lead, which has the resistance. That is going to make it le harder to actually land debuffs, like Oblivion, if you're trying to bring that into here for Perna. You also have Jean and Chandra, which will be there to provide some protection. We also know Jean does like to violent proc. You have Perna, also one of the units who tends to like to violent proc. So when you are facing this type of a team, you kind of have to think a little bit and try to manipulate who they are protecting. But typically they are all going to be tanked your units making it a little harder to take down. Number five is going to be the Kmoon Theo comps. So in this one there is a Savannah which this team alone works very well together. You may also see Orion instead of Theo or instead of Savannah you may see Orion. So another common one is going to be that Kmoon Theo Orion type comp or the one that we saw back then when it was Kmoon Theo Ethna. It also worked well together. Part of that is that you do have defense breaks coming out of this. You do have a speed lead so if your other units are quick like in this case Savannah's probably going to be the fastest being able to use her skill three or if you had an Orion being able to use his skill three. Theo's gonna go, has that defense break, also has his type of self-protection that he can do. So overall, the team typically will work pretty well together. It will have the speed lead, also has the shield, bit of damage coming out of Kamun. You'll have the defense break from Theo, also his damage. And then you have your third unit who may be some type of a support like an Orion or kind of a two-in-one like a Savannah in this case. Number six is going to be a Jean Tyrannus comp. In this one, we also have an Annabelle, which is good because she does have some crowd control as well as some damage output. So this one works well together because you do have Jean, who of course has the resistance lead, always making it harder to land debuffs. You also have Tyrannus. Tyrannus is overall a great unit. Not only does he have revive, but he has a good amount of damage output. So that makes this team a little harder to take care of. You do have the reviver, you have the crowd control, you have the provokes to deal with as well. So something else that you you definitely have to consider there are going to be tankier units a little harder to kill 
hence them working well together. Number seven is another Jean comp. So again, we have her resistance lead, we also have her provokes. So instead of Tyrannus, we have Eladril here. And because we're bringing Eladril, he doesn't have damage output. He's really there for the revive, for the heals and the support. So we bring along Theo. He's the big damage dealer here. He does have the defense break. He has the um, kind of like his passive that he has where he has the extra life, does a little more damage in terms of his like elemental advantage that he has over other units. So Eladril is really there to kind of keep him alive. He is the main damage dealer in here. And typically the Jean and Eladril will be built very tanky. For number eight, if you have a Molong, if you have an Icarus, pair them together. They work so well together. And we know Harmonia also goes hand in hand with Molong. So she's also a great addition as a third unit in this team. So the way the comp usually works is that the Molong is gonna go first with his skill three, mostly kill a unit. Then Icarus goes with her skill three, kills the unit. And then because she kills the unit, she gets that extra turn, which she can use her skill to and heal everybody up. Harmonia is there to help provide some support in terms of her immunity. She also has her skill three, which can be used to kill a unit if used correctly, also to help kind of keep everybody else alive. So all three units have great synergy together. For number nine, we have Fang, Awusa, and some type of a fire unit. In this case, we have Laika. So this team works well together because Fang does have the defense break, also has some that self-sustain in terms of the counter. The counter can provide more defense breaks. You have Wusa, who is a great protector here, has the shield, also has the immunity, and can provide a small heal. And then you have Laika. Laika is a great option because of Laika's passive, also typically built on vampires so has that self-sustain in there so all units will be tankier you also have like a taking advantage of when there's a defense break on a unit gonna be able to do even more damage output making this an overall great team and number 10 is just gonna be some type of a mo long harmonia combination so i included icarus earlier but if you still want to use this comp and you don't have an icarus still pair mo long and harmonia together as i said they do go hand in hand same idea where mo long's gonna use the skill three and then harmonia can go in and use her skill three also also bringing in some type of a third unit. So in this case, it can be a support like a Jean to provide some protection or bring in someone else who can do a bit of damage like a Skogul. People may sometimes underestimate this a bit because if you're dealing with Skogul, you have to kind of worry about him throwing his rock up, getting rid of him before it falls down or being able to self-sustain it. But then you have Molong who's gonna chip away at your HP quite a bit and Harmonia to keep everybody alive, also to provide some of the immunity. Harmonia also overall just works really well with Skogul together, making these three a good combo. I hope you enjoyed these five star siege defenses and let me know some of your favorites. Give the video a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button down below as I am putting new videos out daily and you don't wanna miss out. So bye for now. Next level.